Ford is moving to non-negotiable pricing for all of its vehicles. And in this video, I'm going to explain how that will affect your next Ford purchase. What's up guys, Mitchell Watts with Town & Country TV. And just the other day, the CEO of Ford Motor Company, Mr. Jim Farley, met with investors. And during this meeting, he and other Ford executives explained their intent to move to non-negotiating prices for all of its vehicles. The Associated Press reported that the CEO said that Ford is going to move to non-negotiated vehicle pricing, which leads you to believe that he's talking about all vehicles. Now, however, the Detroit Free Press reported that non-negotiated pricing is going to be a part of improving the customer experience for electric vehicle shoppers. This would suggest that the policy may be only for electric vehicles, EVs. Now, this is not the first time that the CEO has suggested this type of pricing structure. In fact, we are a Ford dealership and we just signed a deal with Ford to become a Model E certified elite dealer. Now, this means that we are going to have to agree to upfront non-negotiable pricing on the latest Ford electric vehicles. And at one point, it appeared that Ford was going to be selling those vehicles directly to the consumers straight from online and that the dealership network is only going to exist for two main reasons, as a distribution center for the delivery of those new vehicles and as a vehicle service center. Jim Farley later Later told dealerships that this would not be the plan since most of the dealerships signed up to sell the EVs for the no-haggle pricing. They signed up for that Model E program. Now, I have a few unique perspectives and opinions about the no-haggle pricing. Number one, I love the fact that this will keep dealerships from gouging customers when they place a retail order from one of its latest and greatest Ford products. Number two, most people are not thinking about the other end of that spectrum. What happens when a vehicle is sitting on a dealership lot? for an extended period of time. In the years past, if a vehicle was on our lot for a long period of time, we would discount that vehicle very heavily. This gets people looking at the vehicle online and it eventually sells because of that discounted price. What happens if a Ford Mustang Mach-E that was in our inventory for too long, what happens if that vehicle is protected by MAP, which is minimum advertised pricing guidelines, and now that they just reduced the pricing of the Mach-E's, how would that aged inventory ever sell if you can't discount it? Here's my opinion, and good, good news is I'm an expert in my opinion. <laughs> Ford needs to have non-negotiable pricing on all of their vehicles, but once a vehicle sits on our lot after a specific amount of time, that dealer should be able to discount the vehicle as needed. Otherwise, the vehicle will end up way overpriced, especially if there are comparable used vehicles that have no restrictions in regards to pricing and discounts. In addition to vehicle pricing, Farley also told investors that they plan on reducing investment in hyper-competitive market segments, such as two-row smaller SUVs. This is a massive announcement because the least expensive vehicle that Ford currently offers is the Escape and the Bronco Sport. And as a dealership, we no longer have that cheaper vehicle to sell, such as a Fiesta or a Focus or an Echo Sport. But I completely get Ford's side of things as well. Those less expensive vehicles, those were not nearly as profitable as the Ford F-150 and also the big full-size Bronco. Jim Farley did not announce the departure of the Escape or the Bronco Sport, but it is a big announcement because it really does lead me to believe that this might be the last generation that you're going to see for those two models. Now, Ford is looking to sell more of its iconic iconic vehicles, such as the larger pickup trucks, F-150, F-250, things like that. And they're also hyper-focused on the all-new Mustang. Speaking of the Mustang, have you seen the all-new 2024 Ford Mustang RTR Spec 2? We had exclusive access to the debut of that vehicle. Click right here to watch that video. And as always, have a great day. Peace.